Another coach from a major college sports program is accused of sexually abusing children. Bernie Fine, an assistant basketball coach at Syracuse, is accused of molesting two ball boys during the 1980s. One of them first went to authorities in 2005, but no charges were brought. In a statement today, Fine called the allegations, quote, patently false. Head coach Jim Beheim said Fine has his full support. The second ball boy says he came forward after hearing about the sex abuse case at Penn State. And we learned today that fired head football coach Joe Paterno has lung cancer. His son says it's treatable. There were other developments at Penn State today, and Armin Katayan is in State College. Dr. David Joyner, ex-Penn State football player under Thanks, Joe Paterno, Charlotte. star I, uh, wrestler and board of trustee member since 2000 was officially introduced today as the school's acting athletic right, director. Know that I'm here to help and I'm here to do the right thing. As a wounded university tries to move forward from a sex abuse scandal that has devastated the community. You are an insider at Penn State. What assurances can you give that what critics have called a culture of denial here at Penn State will not continue? No matter what they say about me being an insider, as you watch what I do and watch how this university behaves, you will know and appreciate that I'm about doing the right thing. Penn State's Board of Trustees has complete responsibility over the university. Yet Joyner said to his knowledge, the board was never informed of multiple allegations of sexual abuse by former football coach Jerry Sandusky until news of a criminal investigation broke in March. If President Spanier knew in 2002, certainly of that incident, why wasn't the board informed? I don't know the answer to that question. Fallout from charges of abuse and a potential cover-up has now cost four top university officials their jobs, including Paterno, the larger-than-life coach, and school president Graham Spanier. And today the NCAA announced it would examine what it called the actions and inactions of university personnel. In a statement, the organization said it is critical that the NCAA re-examine how we constrain or encourage behaviors that lift up young people rather than making them victims. A spokesman telling CBS News the inquiry will focus on ethical standards. And Scott, now there's word the Second Mile charity founded by Sandusky and prosecutors charged used as bait to lure in young boys is preparing to fold. Long way to go in that investigation. Armin, thank you very much.